Welcome back to Tain Slade Info. The Indian Army has to decide faster in order to procure a proper and a proven armored infantry combat vehicle for quick movement of defense troops in the eastern Ladakh sector. This is a very vital requirement for the Indian Army due to the increasing presence of Chinese troops near the border where China has deployed their armored personnel carriers in large numbers. Transporting troops swiftly in the eastern Ladakh sector has always been a challenging task and this time the Indian Army might be evaluating these vehicles which are available under a serious note to ensure their requirements are taken care up to their satisfaction. The three options which are available for the Indian Army are the indigenously developed Tata VAP. The second option which is available is the Striker Harmored Fighting Vehicle. The third option which is available is the Humby Utility Vehicle. Both Striker and Humby had been used by United States and other defense forces and these vehicles are combat proven. In that case, the Indian Army doesn't have to re-evaluate these vehicles to procure them. Coming to Tata VAP Infantry Protected Mobility Vehicle, these vehicles had never been tested in a real combat environment and situation. This doesn't mean these indigenous vehicles are not good, but it's just that the other two vehicles are proven ones. Another major advantage of both Striker and Humby over India's Tata VAP is about its airlifting capability. Both these vehicles can be airdropped using either Lockheed Martin C-130J or Boeing C-17 Globemaster aircrafts which are already operated by the Indian Air Force. Also, the Indian Army is looking for a versatile armored vehicle which can fulfill various roles. And according to me, if they go for the Striker vehicle, it has many capability to get operated as various variants. The different roles or different customization which can be done for the United States made Striker vehicle are the troop transportation, combat support and enhanced mobility, infantry carrier vehicle, reconnaissance vehicle, mobile gun system, mortar carrier, commander's vehicle, fire support vehicle, engineer squad vehicle, medical evacuation vehicle, anti-tank guided missile vehicle, and nuclear, biological, chemical, reconnaissance vehicle. In addition to this, the United States has offered to jointly develop the Striker Harmored Fighting Vehicles, which is a good offer which can be considered by the Indian Army on a serious note. The joint development of these vehicles will further boost the defense partnership between India and the United States. So let's wait and see what decision is taken by the Indian Army with regards to this particular topic. I'll upload more videos to share the latest update which keeps coming with regards to this. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.